2022, a unique year for Taurus ascendant and Taurus moon sign. Ninth Lord Saturn will be in the ninth house, free from debilitation of Jupiter. Jupiter in the Karma Bhava tenth house till April, and then in the Labha Bhava, the house of gains, from April only makes 2022 a very positive and a blissful year. Not only that. The biggest transit that will happen in April is Rahu getting out of your ascendant. Rahu now no longer influence your ascendant and if you are a Taurus moon sign, the moon is no longer under direct influence of Rahu. Rather Rahu will move in the 12th house. There will be some consequences because of this movement, but now because it doesn't have a direct influence on moon, you are in a much better position to control your life. Let us figure out different aspects of of your life and how the year 2022 will be starting with business and finance Taurus moon sign and Taurus ascendant is basically a Venusian controlled zodiac sign now you see your 6th house the 6th house is libra and that is also venus dominated venus ruled zodiac sign that means you and your ascendant and your 6th house that means the house of the house of job the house of responsibility the house that keeps moving things the house of disputes all are connected with venus and the movement of venus holds greatest significance so this transit of venus in the sign of virgo and then in the sign of libra in the month of august around 11th of august is going to be very significant and you need to watch out for that transit in spite of venus being debilitated after 11th of august this venus will be in the 5th house which will give you positive results under restricted conditions so from august september and october this is the month where major transition major shift can happen just don't try to take any loan especially loans that is associated with education should be taken with great caution and you should not go overboard now with respect to business 7th house for taurus was affected by the presence of ketu so till the till the transit of ketu happens out of scorpio you need to watch out for any major shift in business because see this ketu is right now in anuradha nakshatra and will move in vishakha nakshatra and when ketu moves in vishakha nakshatra there can be bifurcation of business there can be split up between partners on a positive side this can show multi growth uh, investment multiple investment investment in multiple areas of business but then you will have to be very very cautious jupiter's presence in the 10th house is very good especially for business and business related investments because till april 2022 jupiter will aspect your second house now second house is 8th from 7th which means long term investment of business or what the business investment will actually give you so this gives a good recovery time So what you should do till April 2022 is you should try to recover from any loss you should try to outgrow uh, any kind of difficulty you should try to overcome all legal hurdles and you should try to fill the gaps because rahu in the first house is also going to give you unnecessary scared unnecessary tension unnecessary stress so taking a new stress by starting a new business taking a new legal tender by starting a new shop by doing unnecessary business related expense or investment is only going to give you trouble especially if you are related to stock market if you are related to cryptocurrencies if you are if you are investing for a long time in business that are speculative in nature jupiter will only try to recover your loss so if you are getting some profit in this time don't assume that the future is going to go just the same way rather you should assume that first let me recover my losses and then according to the situation i am in in the future i will decide so there should be a wait period first loss recovery then a small wait period and then plan and move ahead because a lot of planning is needed remember that saturn in the in the 9th house is constantly aspecting your 6th house the saturn wants you to constantly work on the failures on the disputes on the hurdles which is also trying to give you small hurdles to slow you down so you need to check your pace see jupiter in the 10th house is definitely good for business and business growth and after april 2022 when business growth will grow like anything 
because Jupiter will move in the 11th house. Jupiterian aspect on the 7th house gives you good partnership. It gives you good opportunity to, to now expand and maybe expanding your horizon, trying new business, new investment opportunities, trying and collaborating with new business partner, exploring the business outside your current domain, maybe current city going into, going into overseas. All these opportunities will come after April. Before April, because of Ketu in the 7th house, it's not advisable. Not only Jupiter will move in the 11th house and aspect the 7th house, Rahu will also move out from the 1st house, go in the 12th house and Ketu will move in the 6th house. It shows multiple employment chances. So people who are in business, what should you should do is, you should not focus on how many people you have to employ as long as you are able to get the task done and as long as it is well within the budget. So if you have to pay something extra, you may, you may go ahead with that. You may have to employ somebody which you don't want to. You may have to create a post. You may have to shell out some money because Rahu in the 12th house will create some expense. But make sure that you do this after April so that Jupiterian energies in the, on the 7th house does not allow the business to collapse. You should also watch out for any, uh, any dissent or any kind of dispute that happens in your employees. Any, you should take care of your employees, you should take care of your needs. So do a lot of crib sessions, understand their needs, understand their problems, understand their frustration and try to be available for them. Now because you have a moon in Taurus or ascendant in Taurus, this is an ascendant or moon sign favorable to moon and moon rules your third house which is your efforts. So now your effort should be more exalted. It should be more towards healing. Yes, you will have a scare in your mind. At the back of your mind, you will always feel threatened just because now moon finds Rahu in the 12th. So there will always be a scare of unnecessary loss. To, pro pre to prevent that and to protect that, the best way is following the path of precaution is better than cure. If you are maintaining enough precaution, if you are going legal, if you're going, if you're following all the proper paperwork, following the law, following the norms, you should not be in any kind of trouble. Because ninth Lord Shani is maintaining the dharmic position and if you follow the dharma, your business will be absolutely growing leaps and bounds, but in a very strategic way, in a very, uh, in a very constant way. The growth will not be rapid like a Rahu's growth, the growth, growth will be like Saturn. Now your business partner, if it is your spouse, if it's your family member, then it is going to be a very good opportunity for you because uh, your family will only support you but will also be your best critic. Remember, the Shani, Saturn being in the ninth house is third from the seventh house which means the effort of the business will be limited. So what you should do is you should try to expand the potential of the business before looking out for finances like expanding your market, expanding the reach. If you are in social media, if you are in the, in the business of art and craft, if you are in the business of any kind of manufacturing, you should be careful because Saturn aspects the third house constantly. So growing slowly without any random rapid investment is going to be the key for success. This is a warning sign because when you will get the profits, when you will see the profits coming, when you will see things working in your favor, you may assume that this is going to be like this forever and you will pump in all the money, you will you will speculate your growth, you will forecast it and you will try to expand it exponentially but exactly that won't happen. If you are following a ladder growth approach, that means step by step growth, you won't find any problem. In fact, 2022 will be the year that will lay out, that will give you the best potential of your business. This is the time when you are, when you are not just uh, trying, to trying to expand your gains and profits but you're also building business as an asset. You're also building business as a family expansion. Now business is now your family. It's now a part, it's now a, a kind of a, a process that you have nurtured for so long. When you just accept it, when you do your dharma, you will see that the matters related to business and finance will no longer be an issue in your life in 2022. In case of any problem, pray to Lord Shani by chanting the mantra, Nilanjanam Samabhasam Raviputram Yamagrajam Chaya Martanda Sambhutam Tam Namami Shanashanam. Let's move to the next, next part of life, which is job and career.
in the job and career field you will see that uh, venus will give you quite good opportunity especially in the month of march and april because venus will be in the sign of pisces not only that saturn which is in the capricorn zodiac sign is good for people who want to move into a different country for career if you want to if you want to move to a different city but movement will be one of the reason uh, where the job growth can happen but if you want to limit yourself in the city you are in then there can be some difficulty and you need to watch out for your own mahadasha and antardasha if it allows but still there can be some sort of compromise especially in the salary now jupiter will be in the 10th house 10th house is the house of career recognition designation jupiter will expand this what you have to do is follow your dharma if you have been working hard for past couple of years but you have no you have got no chance of promotion recognition then saturn and jupiter combined energy effect will give you a proper growth in your career a chance to expand and if you're not getting promotion in the current company if you're not getting promotion in the current space then definitely a chance of movement can happen rahu's presence in the in the 12th house definitely shows a new opportunity you can explore a new area of life a new type of career a new designation ketu in the 6th house definitely shows that current role is going for an end it's going to close and a new role will begin it's a new lease of life but to um, to get into a new career to get into a new job you will have to take that leap of faith you will have to jump jump within the limits of saturn so you have to do a lot of learning you have to go for some upgradation especially from the certification jupiter in the 11th house after april 2022 will help you get the, those certifications maybe you can enroll into an mba those who want to so there has to be some sort of upgradation because jupiter is gyana and you will have to apply all your wisdom and once you apply you will be able to go through your certificates you will go through your interviews you will be able to you will be able to move internally or even you can go for a change of job but definitely there are going to be major shift in your career after april 2022 and what you should do till april 2022 just hold your ground prepare for the future prepare for a bright career because uh, because jupiter may be in the 10th house but remember that uh, mar uh, the rahu and ketu energies are right now negative because of the mars and ketu formation in the sign of scorpio and then when mars moves into the sagittarius zodiac sign which is your 8th house this can really disturb you your career your stability so be careful why you are changing a job are you very much stable in the current job then when you are changing the reason should be money and if you are so desperate to shift because the environment doesn't suit then at least you have to wait till mid of february so that the venus can become positive and give you necessary output the output that favors your career growth overall i will say that the job in the career perspective for the taurus moon sign and taurus ascendant people in 2022 is quite positive and you can make the best use of it but you will have to show that you know and you have to show your ability you have to prove yourself so be ready to prove yourself upgrade don't leave any stone unturned and you will see some remarkable growth in your career by the end of 2022 The next area of life will be marriage, love, and relationships. Till April two thousand twenty-two, Ketu's energy in the seventh house is actually destroying relationships. Not only that, if you observe that Saturn is in the is in the tenth or ninth house, which is in the sign of Capricorn, is not allowing the relationship to work because it is limiting the effort of marriage. Third from seventh. Also the pap kartari on Sagittarius plays a very much vital role with disputes associated with with in-laws investments anything that is has, that has to do with alimony that has to do with uh, with relationship with your with the family overall this was a negative phase once ketu moves out of the sign of scorpio you may see some relief especially after april 2022 jupiter and energies and from the sign of pisces will fall in your 7th house now because 7th house gets the potential of jupiter this will balance the negativity this will balance the unnecessary ups and downs of marriage 
and you will see that if you can hold the ground till May 2022, the time after that is only favorable to you. Things will become more easier. There will be less of hassle, less of trouble. Whether you want to stay in marriage or you want to leave marriage, in either of the case, at least the decision will be positive. At least the focus towards life will be much more creative and constructive rather than destructive, especially right now when Mars and Ketu are together in the seventh house. Overall, you have to be uh, very much careful towards any destructive feeling towards relationship. See, there will be insecurities throughout the year. There will be some sort of unnecessary fear throughout the year. Your expectations may just increase and you may feel that you deserve because you have suffered so long. Everything is fine. But remember, always follow your duty and dharma before you expect. And that's what Saturn in the ninth house teaches. Relationship will go long distance. Relationship will go for a long period of time. It will go positive for a long period of time only if you follow the path of dharma and have patience. If you become impatient, if you follow the path of Rahu, if you, if you follow extramarital affairs, if you do anything that is against the peace or peace of mind, then definitely this is going to be a bad time for you. Otherwise, if you can maintain harmony, if you follow the Dharma, if you know the Jnana, if you follow Jupiterian principles, the principle of Guru, the principle of Dharma, marriage will not be a problem. And those who are eligible for marriage, especially the Taurus moon sign, if your Mahadasha and Antardasha is favorable to you, you will see that good prospects of marriage will happen after April 2022. For the, from the perspective of marriage, the second half of the year is better than the first half. Moving to the next area of life, which is health. Health is wealth and 2022 is going to be one of the year where you have to be careful about your health. On one hand, Rahu and Ketu Access goes out from the fun seven, first house and the seventh house, but now Ketu goes in the sixth house. Now the sixth house has not only Ketu but also the tenth aspect of Saturn. That means discipline is going to be one of the most important factor by which you can maintain health, and discipline will also be one of the most important area that will be difficult to maintain. You will have to force yourself to maintain a good health, so you have to be careful about going. Uh, partying, drinking, having fun, eating non-vegetarian food, bringing tamasic energy within your body. You have to be very careful about that. You have to be very careful with what you consume. Remember, sixth house is the house from where all the disease originate. And when Saturn aspects that house and Ketu sits on that house, that means the disease will only be become visible once it has outgrown, once it has become very strong and powerful. And it becomes chronic. So yoga, pranayam, fasting on Saturdays, doing a lot of stomach related exercise, having your stomach clean, every now and then taking mild laxatives are going to be one of the few ways by which you can cleanse yourself, by which you can maintain your health. Detoxification will be the key here. Be uh, Eat more alkaline food and that will also favor you a lot. Keeping your gut clean is one of the best way by which you can stop any disease coming to you but because ketu is in the sixth house you have to also be you also also be you have to also be careful about accidents small cuts and wounds so be careful while you are handling sharp objects glass knife driving a car or you have to be careful in any from any kind of machinery or anything that can hurt or damage you especially if you are working in those areas or parts of 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 the world where things can be a bit dangerous. Overall, by the grace of Saturn, by the grace of Jupiter, it balances out the negativity of Rahu and Ketu. By Just by being aware of the situation, you can manage the negative energy. So if you follow the Dharma, if you're following the discipline, if you are within your limits, and if you are using your true potential, you will see that in spite of all the minor chaos that is happening in the horoscope, Health will also be just fine, but it's on the edge. So if you don't take care, then it can convert into some sort of illness. So be careful about that. And if you are someone who is already facing arthritis, if you're already facing some issues related to hip joints, 
you should be somewhat extra careful chanting mahamrutunjay mantra every day for 108 times in the year 2022 is one of the best remedies a best spiritual way to handle negative energies in your life coming to learning development research all these areas are going to be crucial especially after may 2022 so students who are going to appear for examination after may will see great positive output great results and your your hard work will pay off especially because of the jupiter in aspect on the 5th house jupiter being in the sign of pisces aspects the sign of virgo virgo is exclusively important for competitive examinations so students who are appearing for competitive examination especially after may 2022 and especially if you are appearing for government examination then you can see a lot of success you will be able to give your best and you will see some really good results really good turn around of events that will favor you and those who are looking out for higher education those who are looking out for phd's this is going to be the right time people who are in corporate people who want to expand their 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 portfolio especially by giving some by taking some certifications external certification by doing executive mba there can be many ways by which you can you can expand your horizon in the corporate world after may 2022 you can make the best use of that till then you simply prepare what you will have to do try to try to explore new dimensions first decide what area you will have to go what certifications are good for you and then once you are prepared for the first 5 months then you can take the take the jump and enroll into those kind of certificates for students for academics for the for the teachers 2022 second half is going to be much more favorable than the first half but the fear of loss the fear of failure can haunt you big time in that case you need to focus on the bhagavad gita karmanneva dikaraste ma phale shukadachana because that's the theme of 2022 do your karma don't look for the results results will come to you have faith on god and keep moving because once you are once you start moving you will never find one area of life where you will fail but the moment you stop because you are scared ketu in the 6th house will stop the wheel of time and then the static friction will take over the kinetic friction of life so keep pushing keep moving 2022 is the year towards success and i wish you all the best with all the health and all the prosperity may god give you all the happiness that you deserve